With the Tories up to their necks in scandal and corruption, people across Scotland are suffering from rising living costs, made worse by Tory policies. Research shows that a combination of tax hikes for working people, inflation and soaring energy costs will leave the average family £2,417 worse off. Prices will skyrocket as household energy bills rise by around £700. Yet in 2014, the UK government promised voters energy prices would drop by 2020 and said a yes vote would mean the average energy bill rising by up to £189. But a no vote saw the average bill rise by over £500 between 2015 and 2019. Then there's the rising food prices. The chairman of Tesco has suggested these could increase by 5% in the coming months and the worst is still to come. This stark reality hits us all in the pocket and demolishes another lie from the no camp in 2014. And in 2016, Brexiteers promised cheaper food after Brexit. But ever since, the weekly shop has been getting more expensive and retail bosses have told us to get used to higher prices caused by Brexit. Easy enough for the millionaires in charge of the Westminster system, but not for the rest of us. Brexit, which Scotland voted overwhelmingly against, has a hefty price tag and we're all footing the bill. For all the economic disruption caused by COVID, the OBR, the UK government's own finance body, says In the long term, it is the case that Brexit has a bigger impact on the pandemic uh, over the long term. So what do you think the Tory UK government are doing to tackle their self-made cost of living crisis? They're raising taxes, cutting benefits and using slate of hand to make it seem like they are easing the burden of rising energy costs. Decisions that will hit the poorest in society the hardest. Tories have hiked national insurance contributions for most people by over 10%, which means an NHS nurse will have their pay cut by £275. Universal credit has been cut by £20 a week, forcing families to food banks and pushing more children into poverty. To add insult to injury, instead of properly tackling the energy crisis, Tories are forcing everyone to take out a £200 loan that needs to be paid back in £40 instalments over the next five years. And all this from a lockdown-breaking and Brexit-backing Tory UK government that Scotland didn't vote for, and a Tory party we've rejected since 1955. Meanwhile, in Scotland, the SNP Scottish government is spending almost £600 million a year mitigating brutal and immoral Tory policies like the bedroom tax. We're building a new social security system based on dignity and respect. It's already delivering 11 new benefits, including the game-changing Scottish child payment lifting children out of poverty and reducing demand for food banks. Then there's free prescriptions, free NHS dental care, free childcare, free period products, free personal care, free school meals for P1 to P5, free bus travel to all those under 22, and we're taking Scotland's railways into Scotland's hands, reconnecting communities to the rail network and working to meet our world-leading climate targets. But we're doing all this with one hand tied behind our back, hampered by Tory governments at Westminster. We can do so much more with the powers of independence. Together we can build a fairer, greener and more prosperous Scotland for all.